there are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. Here's your video for this Monday, October 19th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and I'll start off with the tropics, not because we're expecting anything to impact the United States or the Gulf Coast or anything like that, but just because um, we do have a system out there that I'll um, talk about in just a minute on the model outputs. just wanted you to see it. It's a uh, low-pressure system. Can't uh, really uh, get anything organized in terms of thunderstorm activity around the center. It's centered about uh, 550 miles southeast of Bermuda, sort of meandering around out there. But uh, the National Hurricane Center says it has a good chance of becoming a subtropical depression or subtropical storm, especially by tomorrow as conditions become more favorable uh, for it to develop. So we'll be watching that. It could become uh, subtropical storm Epsilon as the busy hurricane season of 2020 continues along. Big ridge of high pressure is the story for Alabama ridging down from Maine into uh, Alabama, keeping us uh, fair and beautiful. A nice, comfortable start this morning. Temperatures in the 50s. Uh, we got another big ridge of high pressure over the Midwest. Uh, that uh, sandwiched in between, though, a little area of low pressure, low over northeastern Texas, southeastern Oklahoma, surface, tr uh, surface front, uh, stationary uh, into the Ohio Valley, showers and thunderstorms uh, along that front thanks to all this moisture being pulled around that um, around that uh, surface uh, high. Uh, you can see that uh, moisture being pulled to the north and northeast around that. Uh, and that's evident on the GFS output for this afternoon, 4 o'clock. We see showers and thunderstorms uh, scattered all the way from the Texas Gulf Coast up through Arkansas and into the northeast. Uh, but here in Alabama, we stay high and dry. It's going to be a beautiful day here. Humidity level starting to come up. See uh, High temperatures today from about 80 to 82 degrees, but you'll see mostly sunny skies through the entire day today. Overnight lows tonight centered around 60 degrees, but another beautiful day on Tuesday. Uh, again, humidity levels still coming up just a bit more. Dew points tomorrow about 62, 63 degrees. So you'll begin to feel just a little more of that humidity. But again, uh, over Alabama, we'll stay high and dry on Tuesday. A few showers uh, to our northwest again. Wednesday, more of the same. Some moisture beginning to work up uh, from the Western Caribbean into the southeastern Gulf of Mexico uh, as that activity sort of pushes into the southeastern United States. We might see a few showers reappearing along the Gulf Coast and in southeast Alabama. But for north and central Alabama, Wednesday will be another dry and warm day. High temperatures in the uh, lower to middle 80s, about 81 to 84 degrees. Dew points, though, beginning to push 64, 65 degrees, so it will feel quite humid, but again, uh, a mostly sunny to partly cloudy day on Wednesday. Now Thursday, a few showers begin to show up by afternoon, possibly over Alabama. Over to the east, you see what may be uh, subtropical storm Epsilon at that point. Uh, we'll still be watching the Western Caribbean. Uh, I still think we'll see some sort of development there by the weekend, but uh, the models have sort of backed off on that idea a little bit. But uh, Thursday will probably be a partly cloudy day. Still warm, high temperatures in the lower 80s. It'll be uh, warm and quite humid with a few scattered showers by afternoon. Now, by Friday, this is 7 p.m. Friday, we've got a, a pretty significant front beginning to take shape to our northwest. And uh, all that moisture in the Gulf of Mexico, a big slug of it, is moving up into uh, southwestern, western Alabama and Mississippi, and that could mean an increase in showers and thunderstorms for Friday afternoon and Friday night. We'll call for that, a good chance of those. To the east, you see uh, subtropical storm Epsilon out there. Saturday, that front sort of sinks down into Tennessee, northern Mississippi, uh, and as it begins to wash out, we'll see still a few scattered showers and thunderstorms across north Alabama. We'll probably be in the 70s all day on Saturday with mostly cloudy skies. Um, keeping temperatures down just a bit so those rain chances stay with us. But by Sunday, we'll begin to see things probably drying out just a bit, high pressure trying to build in, the moisture shunted to the west, but you'll see a stronger system beginning to shake, take shape to the northwest. Now, by um, Tuesday night, the 27th, fairly strong front moving toward Alabama. This front will mean more business this time. We'll see uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms developing by uh, by Tuesday, the 27th, and that will continue into Wednesday, the 28th. That system will move on through uh, by late on the 28th, 
and uh, be south of us. This is Friday, the uh, this is Thursday night, the 29th at 7 o'clock, showing that uh, high pressure is building into the Tennessee and Ohio Valleys here in Alabama. will be beautiful and clear uh, with uh, much cooler temperatures. These are temperatures off the GFS, well, no, off the National Blend of Models. Uh, the, the temperatures we've already referenced in the 80s this week, uh, backing off into the 70s for the weekend, and then you see a, a more dramatic fall off to more normal seasonal levels for what we would expect in late October and early November. Highs generally between 68 and 71, overnight lows in the upper 40s to lower and middle 50s, uh, a little bit more normal for this time of year. We continue to be quite dry. This is off the GFS ensembles, uh, showing the mean uh, predicting about uh, a little more than an inch, inch and a quarter of rain over the next two weeks at Birmingham. Um, that's about, uh, that's still a little drier than normal, but um, we'll take anything we can get at this time. We've already recorded tonight's Weather Brains. Great show on tap for you. Mike Farrar, one of the leading uh, weather model experts in the world, uh, joined us last Thursday night, and uh, he talks uh, a lot about uh, modeling and uh, the state of the models uh, both in the United States and around the world and uh, sort of the future of uh, where all that's going. Weather Brains is of course the weekly netcast. It's all about weather. You can get it anywhere that you can get uh, an audio podcast and of course you can uh, watch it live tonight at um, 8 o'clock on the digital channels um, uh, here. Uh, on uh, ABC 3340. Well, that's your weather video for today. That is the only weather video with James on vacation. Um, we'll have some notes on the blog, of course, an update on the forecast at noon, and another update on the forecast at 3 on the blog. But uh, as I always tell you, until I see you again tomorrow morning, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.